I know it's been a while. I actually don't even know how long it has been. Let me actually see when my last update was. Uh, so it looks like it's been about... Oh, only it, oh, it's only been a month. Is it, has it, has it only been uh, has it has it when, when when was this posted? July second. Holy shit! Okay, I I thought it was so much longer. Okay, that's actually that's great news. Uh, <laughs> I thought it'd been longer since I posted an update video, but uh, I I was thinking you know I've been having a really tough year. Uh, as some of you know, I've been searching for a new job. And I found one, but uh, anybody who's ever worked in the food service industry, you know, as soon as you get hired, you don't get the hours you're anticipating, even if they give you all that they can. And I'm working at a place that has pretty limited opening hours. So yeah, it was pretty, um, it was clear it wasn't going to be enough to actually live on. So I immediately started looking for a second job and I've kind of shifted that over to trying to find something a little bit more uh, gainful and solid and yeah, just something that, you know, where I can feel a little bit more secure. I used to have a job like that, right? The, right before the pandemic, I had the highest paying job I ever did. And I remember how nice it was not having to worry about money literally all the time. So, yeah, that's still going on. And uh, the fact that I've had to still deal with that has honestly been really, really depressing. My depression has been really, really bad, especially the last couple months. And I just haven't gotten any of the backlog of editing that I have in the barrel ready to go because I've actually done a couple of like really long stretched out sessions with Steven and Steven if you're watching this I'm really sorry I was I the figure you're probably were expecting to see more of it by now because uh, we recorded it months and months ago um, but yeah I just um, even when I'm not busy I I'm just so like tired and depressed that I just can't get to any of it and so you know that's that's just the reality of the situation and although social media is typically more in line with um you know it's kind of infamous for people only emphasizing the positive aspects of what's going on in their life at the time i also understand that there's a real craving out there for authenticity and i figure you know fuck it um you know why not just be honest and say that, yeah, guys, I'm really, really struggling right now to make content, to keep myself motivated. The strike has been really, really rough uh, on me. And, you know, uh, any of you who have kept up to date with the actual details about what we're, we and SAG are looking for versus what the studios are offering, uh, you know just how bad it is. Like, I do pretty much exclusively background work up to this point. I haven't had any speaking roles in a SAG project yet. And they're basically wanting to completely eliminate that position altogether. They basically just want to do scans of us and just use us as digitally imposed background whenever they want, which means I basically never get to be on a set again. So yeah, it's absolutely worthwhile. It's probably the most historic strike of any industry that has occurred in my lifetime. And um, it's really important that it goes well, but man we are hurting out here and I, I i'd like to say that you know it feels survivable but you know there's a reason that the studio execs even though their position has been publicly super super unpopular uh they're still sticking to their guns because they like openly admitted they're like well we can ride this out and they can't and yeah that is the reality of it so you know, that's, that's what I've been dealing with. That's why there's this huge vacuum of content. And, uh, yeah, I have been feeling a little better lately. So hopefully I can muster up some motivation to actually get some editing done. Hopefully a job comes along the barrel soon. But, um, yeah, for right now, thank you to anybody who has taken the time to stop by my channel while I've been busy slash too sad to do anything with it. Um... But all of that content is still coming. It's just a matter of, um, you know, making it happen, which is, as uh, anyone can probably understand, a lot easier said than done.
But thank you all so much for coming to my TED Talk, and uh, uh, take care of yourselves, and be well, everybody.